All right, welcome back to Jackknife TV. This video is gonna be, um, I don't know what this video is gonna be. This is like the third time I've done this between phone updating and me trying to calm myself down so I don't get like demonetized or my channel gets deleted off YouTube. But um, pretty much uh, I made a short earlier today about drug testing and randoms and stuff and was like man i you know i've had a lot of randoms last year and now i got a random again this year and, and it was just like hey you know you guys getting randoms left and right anymore and uh so i took my random today which sucks because i lost out on another short run which would have you know i would actually uh made like 1200 dollars a day in gross profit and uh to go take a drug test and uh i uh sent the slip in you know the uh, verification slip that you got your drug test Safety called me, and uh, the reason I ended up having the drug test, somebody took the, somebody screenshot the photo off of uh, my community's page with my bumper ripped off, and took another picture off of, uh, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Richie Brothers auction of a, like a little bit of a damage on the side of the front of a truck, and said that uh, I hit them and ripped the bumper off, which is kind of funny because the, my bumper picture was at night, and the other picture is day so um uh, but the problem is they have to follow protocols all right and uh since i didn't call it in or say anything uh you know they have to treat it just like anything else so as of right now whoever did it i'm making a video for you and you can laugh your ass off right now probably uh you fucking ass clown <sighs> here i am getting angry already but uh yeah i might not be working maybe the rest of the week I don't know, maybe two weeks. Maybe they're going to cancel my uh, my contract, my, you know, my lease agreement. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, don't really, uh, don't really enjoy doing YouTube anymore. That's for sure. It ain't really my hobby now. Um, Except I spent a lot of money on it, which luckily YouTube's pretty much paid for, you know, all the goofy little gadgets I bought to do this and uh, to try to make better content and have a, have a hobby. But, yeah, you know, now that's all done over with probably uh, because I'm pretty sure I'm not, not I'm, I'm going to have to probably, if, the, if they keep me, if I'm allowed to stay uh, over this. They're probably going to now have somebody watch my channel and, like, critique everything I do and make sure I'm not making videos even if the camera's up on something, you know, I'm not driving or anything or nothing to do with that shit. So I don't know, that's that, so this fucking, it might just be me bitching to the camera now like other people have already put down in the comments. All I do is complain, well, you know, uh, trucking's not exactly stellar right now, at least for most general people that are out there. Uh, have I made a lot of stupid mistakes and assumed a lot of dumb stuff, like assuming that this dedicated account will be pretty decent and I can afford to pay as much as I'm paying for this freaking truck? Um, you know, I, yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I don't think I've ever come out and been like, well, maybe I have. I think I have, you know, I've come out and basically I have, I'm going to say, I've been like, yeah, new truck, freaking awesome. Don't have to worry about shit breaking down. And guess what? shit breaks down and I talk about it like a lot of guys don't um there's just gonna be me ranting I'm gonna go through everything uh the last the last two videos I made that luckily I deleted I god I'd have been called a hypocrite I'd have been called uh you know people would have came out and said who are you talking about like shitty truck drivers and stuff like that uh, I'd probably been called racist um because I, I basically went through systematically like all the stupid shit that is wrong like out here, the dumb shit that we deal with and uh, how fucked up the trucking industry's got. Um, so this is going to be like off-the-cuff video right now. I've kind of gotten over to the anger stage. I'm more at the just the blowout stage, you want to call it, where just, you know, your mind's just thinking about stupid shit and stressed out, I guess you could say. But, um, you know, what's going out right now with everything, with uh, just, I'm going to talk about just trucking in general and in the market is, uh, you know, it's not that good. Uh, a lot of guys are going to like point to like channels like Gentry and just trucking and stuff and Bruce Wilson and all that. And, um, 
you know, they're doing other things. They're making money other ways. And you got to, you know, you got to be able to do that, I think, now. Because just, it's like just everything with trucking is, you know, everybody's in your pocket. Non-stop. All right? Everyone's against you. Fellow drivers are against you. Apparently, if you put shit out on YouTube, random, I'm pretty sure it's somebody in the trucking community. But fucking people are, uh, you know, going to do stupid shit. And, uh, you know, li likely those guys don't have to deal with it. They have their authorities. They have their own companies. They, they're shielded from most of that bullshit. Unfortunately, you know, um, I'm assuming they got the uh, the number off one of my videos because there for a while I was blurring shit out, but it was just such a pain in the ass in editing that I was like, what, what, who, what, who the fuck's really going to happen? Who, you know, who's going to really be that petty? Well, apparently people are that petty. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm dead in the water right now. Uh, am I thinking about getting my authority? <laughs> yes, yes. I would. I guess a little bit of me is like, yeah, I'll just go down right now, call up my call up the agent, grab my progressive policy and shit, and start everything up, and just you know start blowing what's left of any business savings that I grew up, you know, grew again from working, and and you know, and guys are like, oh well, you're bitching about you know no money and stuff. You can't, look, you can have a, a good amount of savings here in trucking, all right? And you could still be broke. I can't, you can't just take that money and just throw it around. Because, especially now since, like, half the warranty's up on this fucking truck, like, if harness goes and I have to pay, like, for a harness or something or something, I don't know, I, mean, I don't even know if, like, the freaking little modules that shift the transmission are still warrantied, uh, if that's considered, you know, electrical or who knows. If one of them go... I got to be able to afford to pay for that shit now. I got to be, and it's going to have to be dealership because everything's all, um, pack car software and it's all proprietary shit and nobody really wants to deal with it and nobody's gotten into pack cards. It's, it's, you know, so like, I, I'm, I know I'm just going through everything right now and I'm ranting, uh, but it's just, uh, you know, you got to have freaking money on you or you, you can go like, you can go bankrupt like, like that in trucking. All right. Especially now that everybody in your pocket, it seems like everybody's like, you know, just sucking off of you. Uh, just the way inflation is, way tires, prices, of tires went up, fuel, everything, everything. And I know there's guys making it. All right. Like I said, I already named them like just trucking and gentry and and them and this ain't supposed to bring them into this or anything this is just because i know other guys watch that all right they watch it and it's entertainment and you know everyone hopes they can get there and they can do that and they're all rooting but the, um it, that's just not like reality like nine out of ten of you ain't gonna ever be anywhere near that all right i don't even think i'm gonna be anywhere near that i had a glimpse of it there for a, a small period of time like a year and a half all right Oh, like a year, we'll say. All right. I grew really fast in a year. I had a dedicated, you know, dedicated account hauling utility poles and shit. And it's, so it's, you know, I just, I did, I did stupid shit. I didn't think, you know, COVID came and I didn't have enough funds to support my business and try to pay two other guys and shit for six, you know, for six months before, you know, I could either get new customers or, or whatnot. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. It sucks. It sucks. Um, and now, like, I just am doing stupid mistakes and doing stupid shit that I wouldn't suggest other people to do because uh, I just hope that, you know, I hit that home run and shit just works out and the money keeps rolling in. Like, I bought this, uh, got this truck, all right? I figured I wouldn't have any more problems. I could at least get 200,000 miles with not one fucking problem out of this truck. Well, we all see where that's going. All right. It hasn't been that bad, to be honest with you. But um, you never know. You never freaking know. Um, it's just like I feel so fucking defeated right now. And uh, I, like I said, I, I know I shouldn't be making this video because who I'm sure whoever freaking did it is watching this, laughing their fucking ass off right now. Um, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I, I, like I said before, I'm not going to skip over like the stupid shit. Yeah, I'm not, I want, I want guys that are going to get their authority 
and go down the Swift and shit, or make go on YouTube and talk about you know how much money they're making in trucking compared to what they were doing. Which, you know, like I said, it, it's I, just, I want them to know that that that's, a lot of this is just fake illusion, hustle, a lot of hustling, a lot of guys on YouTube are making money off you. All right, for entertainment purposes and shit. And uh, you know, some of them are generally out there to help you and shit, but still. Um, you know, it's still a business at the end of the day. It's still, shit happens. You still get stressed out. Shit still happens. I don't know. I'm like fucking tired. I'm tired. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see where this goes. Um, you know, if they get the drug test back and I guess they work their magic. Maybe, maybe I'll be able to, to get signed a load tonight or whatnot, if there's a load even available. Or like I said, I might be sitting for a week or two. Um, I do have some options. Uh, I had uh, Cloud Trucks reached out to me. Uh, you know, if I'd want to get on their authority or whatnot and, and, you know, talk about Cloud Trucks and everything. And... Um, you know, it's a pretty neat little system they got going on there. But the problem is, though, they've already, like, they've already had, like, shitty owner-operators get on there and, like, screwed that company up. You know, I, I had a broker look into their authority and stuff, and, and uh, yeah. Um, I'd probably have a hard time working with a lot of guys, a lot of brokers or whatnot. But, yeah, so, I mean, I do have options besides getting my authority. Uh, I have an option to just walk away. Um let's see, um, rider, um, I, I, I have a position I could take with rider making like 15 to $2,000, oh, you know, a week doing, uh, semi-local slash regional flatbed work. Um, I don't know because the, I'll have more, if I just give up and walk away, I'm going to, it's not going to go away. I'll get the phone calls. You'll get the shit. You'll get the lawsuits. Um, and you know, sometimes when you, once you end up doing something like, you know, getting financed instead of doing a walkaway lease, you know, you're in it for the long haul and I'm kind of in it for the long haul. And, uh, you know, it, it'd be different if I was making money and things were going all right. And I don't even mean like fucking, you know, like pouring money in, like to be able to go out and buy side by sides and cars and shit. I mean, just money, you know, just not having problems. Um, being able to like stick money away into a savings account and 401k or, or well, I should say a Roth IRA. But most of my money goes right out the door. Like I said, I'm still paying for my 9,400. Still, I'm paying for this damn thing. Um, I, I only have a four year loan on it. So technically my payments are doubled. Um, it just is what it is. You know, I'm just basically putting everything out there right now, and uh, things might get better for me. I got this now new setback. Here, I'm going to sponsor RC Cola. A soda of uh, Rednecks and Hicks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just tired. And uh, I know I shouldn't even be, like, on here talking to you guys, but... I don't know. I, I definitely like some people's opinions. I know I'm going to get some ass clowns in here too, but I'd like some people's opinions. Um, should I keep doing YouTube? Uh, should I uh, not let this really affect me? Which, you know, I'm just like, the, the money is what bothers me. All right. The money. Uh, it's, um, and it's, the, it's almost not even the money. It's like the you know you're trying, you know you're doing what you're supposed to be doing and you're, you know, just random things are coming out of nowhere and knocking you out you know um that's really what's bothered me uh, i do enjoy doing youtube i enjoy playing around with all this crap i enjoy filming but uh, i don't know maybe it's time to uh well I, technically i haven't really been on here lately like i've been just working like i said making myself available as much as i can taking my 34 hours on the road you know not seeing the family as much which you know i figured you know, I get here to Pottsville and everyone's at school or work and, you know, I do my thing, take my shower, do my laundry, and then I get a load, maybe see them for dinner, and then I go, you know. 
Um, most of the shit I've been running is at night, you know, shitty hours, um, getting waking up, you know, the reefer life, the reefer life. So I'm like that too. I'm dealing with a lot of lack of sleep, I would say, uh, to the point that it just, you know, you get irritated. All right. It's not, it's not like, um, I'm not saying like I'm going to fall asleep. It's just, it's just, you know, you get irritated with things real easy. Um, other than that, like, I don't know. I'm just, like I said, I'm trying to put everything about trucking out there that I can. Um, the trials and tribulations of Jackknife TV. All right. Uh, that being said, you know, throw some comments in there. I know I'm going to get some freaking hate like I always do, but it, it's not, it doesn't really bother me. I know I, it looks like it is. This, this bothers me. Shit like this is what bothers me. And I don't think it's going to happen ever again because I'm going to take uh, some precautions now. And, uh, I think they they pretty much, like I said, they're not going to pretty much deal with it anymore. It's the only problem though, is it's something like that with insurance and stuff. They have to look into it. Um, but that's that for now. Uh, if you like this content I'm putting out, uh, you want to support me, smash the like button, hit subscribe. I'm going to try to blow through this. All right. I'm going to try to go full steam ahead. I'm going to try to put numbers out. I want to actually put real numbers out about what it's going to cost to get your authority in 2024. You know, the stupid bullshit you're playing with insurance, the, the nonsense that you're going to play with brokers now, uh, between the, you know, what they require for insurance and things like that. Um, I want to put that all out there. So phone's about to die. I can't charge it cause I got the damn DGI in it, but, uh, I I'm going to sign off now. Um, this is Jackknife TV and I'm out.